we invite open curious minds to the Hotel Guest Wellbeing Show. I'm your host, Este Manning. Please join me on a discovery journey of vibrant well-being to live happy, healthy, connected and thriving lives. So today we are joined by Tess Godfrey. Tess is a holistic, vitalistic naturopath and a reconnective practitioner who integrates ancient plant medicine and the purest essential oils to bring energy and information to every part of your being. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, it's so lovely to be here, Isto. Thank you. Um, I think we're going to have a lovely chat today. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love how you work with ancient plant medicine and essential oils for better well-being, therapy and healing. And so many cultures have used plants for thousands of years. It really was our medicine or, you know, traditionally it was. And so what was it that made you realise just how powerful working with plants and their medicinal qualities are? Uh, wow. So what made me realise, I guess for me, is I've I've grown up on the, you know, on a farm. I've grown up with plant medicine all my life. Um, good food, organic food, um, because that's where plant medicine starts, right? Yeah. With good quality nutrients from whole foods. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I've always grown up in, you know, in that environment of natural health and healing and and whole food and and of course a grandma um, who used uh, a lot of uh, herbal remedies um, and uh, and essential oils as well. So it was just something I guess for me is say that was a very natural progression to get into that natural healing field as well and and end up being a naturopath and a herbalist and a nutritionist and and and, and all of that wonderful stuff and just seeing the incredible results that happens with people on every level mm. of their being when they start looking at their health on a, on a cell level. And, you know, we need food, good food, good nutrition, plant medicine um, to, to really get us that vibrant cell health. So, yeah, I guess that would be my, my you know, starting from way back when um, to now has just been a natural, very natural progression for me and, 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 and incorporating the essential oils now has been um, just brilliant. Yeah, and that's, that's what I wanted to talk to you about next. So you started with the plant medicine and then you moved into like understanding how powerful essential oils are. Can you, can mm. you talk about that a little bit? Like what was it that stood out for you with essential oils and how you've seen that really make an impact with your um, patients? I'd love to talk about that. You know, I've been doing this work as a naturopath for quite a while and um, for with you know I would give a remedy out not not just treat my client in clinic but then give a remedy out mm -hmm. uh, and my remedies I'm not a huge prescriber at all um, would always be let's start with the food mm -hmm. then get on to if we need something else it might be um, a herbal mix that's specific for the client and so when the essential oils I want to say the essential oils really found me mm -hmm. um, it was it was so incredible to see the um, the fast response. You know, it was like um, I could give someone a, a, a herbal remedy, and um, and they might have to take that for two or three weeks before they they really felt uh, uh, an improvement. But with the essential oils, I had people responding within within seconds to minutes, where. Wow. Yeah, and 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 so the essential oil is considered to be between I don't know. There's a figure floating around about seventy seventy times more powerful than than herbs. Mm. Um, and uh, an example is say peppermint as an essential oil compared to a herbal tea. The therapeutic value would be one drop of essential oil might be equivalent to about 28 cups of the same herbal tea. Wow. So it's, it works quickly. And I've seen that. As it's, for me, it's clinical experience. I've seen that work so quickly. And some of my clients are feeling better faster. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I have, you know, then I have to come back and back and back for for a, a treatment. Um, and then the other part of it is so easy to use an essential oil. You use so little mm-hmm. and it goes so far and they have that on hand at home, whereas a herbal remedy is something that I would have to make up for my client in a clinical setting. Um, oh, and I love that. For themselves, you know, at home. Yeah. I love that because it's so empowering for people. Once they yeah. have that understanding of what oils do what, they essentially have their own kit at home. Yes. Because it's like peppermint is one of those super powerful ones for if you've got colds and, and that's what we reach for at home, you know, we use the peppermint in different ways. So, you know, if, if people can have a bigger understanding around what specifically to reach for um, and just also knowing how powerful it is, um, that's just, such a such an empowering way for people to really look after their own health and I love it because it's much more connected and nurturing that's happening on so many levels because it's not just about you know what it may be doing in the cell Um, and I'd love to actually talk about that because um, they can really penetrate on a cellular level absolutely and I'm just before I have a chat with you about that the the nurture the self nurture that comes from you know when you um, are an un, let's say um, because I'm working with unwell people mm. uh, that's why they come and see me mm. so just the fact that they can reach for something so beautiful open a bottle have a little bit of a sniff mm. um, and that makes that alone makes a difference in and the empowerment that comes with that and I love that you said empowerment and and it's about self nurture. It's so easy. You open a bottle, have a sniff, <laughs> and, and and it works, and it works really quickly. On a cell level, so um, our body cells are made up of, of a lipid membrane, so it's a, a a fatty membrane, and of course, oils are lipids um, as well. So they really love one another. A cell membrane and a, and an oil, they are a match made in heaven. Mm. So these oils actually go right into our cell membranes and some of them, I'm going to use a very big scientific word here now, sesquiterpenes is a compound, one of the compounds that are contained within a whole lot of these essential oils like sandalwood, for example, and and, and frankincense. They have the ability to actually cross over the blood-brain barrier as well. Um, so not only our body cells can absorb and really have these oils working from the inside of the cells healing towards the outside, but the brain can be, uh, is very much, you know, it loves the essential oils, specifically those ones with sesquiterpenes in them. Um, so what you have is something that heals from the inside of the cell out. Mm-hmm. Um it, it absorbs into the cells, it connects with the cell receptors, um, and it can do create new messages and new information for the cell and fight the, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to say virus out loud, but it can, it, it, because that's inter, intercellular, um, and it can fight intercellular pathogens, um, which often our medications and other substances, natural as well, they, they don't do that that job from the inside out. Mm. So we've got something powerful in the essential oils and the way that they work and interact with our body cells. Oh, that's beautiful. It's such a, um, a, a holistic kind of, you know, the synergy between what the body actually really needs and to be able to give it that on a cellular level. Um, And then, you know, everything gets energised from that. We have to work on that level um, really to make the difference that we want to make. Because we can't just, you know, um, work on the symptoms. We really need to go to the core and then that will give us energy, that will make sure we're switched on. And, um, yeah, I just absolutely love that um, approach. Absolutely. The core healing, you know, this is what what healing is all about, is to not just have this Band-Aid effect that so many medications, for example, does. It just looks after the symptoms and it certainly doesn't, 
look after the the whole being. Mm. So what we have in the essential oils is is nature's intelligence number one. Mm. It matches beautifully with our own body cells and what we need as natural beings. Um, and it's so powerful and yet so gentle. So that holistic healing is just, you know, it's there for us for the taking. Mm -hmm. um, there's sort of, I, I want to sort of, if you, you'll allow me to, I want to tell you three things that we must know, we must know about pure essential oils. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Absolutely. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> so the things that we've got to remember and why they work so beautifully is, number one, we've touched on that, is that they are lipid soluble. So they are they can cross over our cell membranes, including the brain, and and they um, target multiple cells. So it's not just, you know, if 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 it get, goes into the bloodstream, for example, whether you breathe it or put it on topically, it's going to get into your bloodstream, and the bloodstream will take it within twenty minutes. Wow. Uh, sometimes much faster than that. It could be within seconds will take it to its, you know, where it needs to be. Mm. So that and they, that's the first thing I think is so important because it's lipid soluble, it can get into so many cells in our in our body. And the second thing is they're very, very small. The essential oil molecules are very small in size and in weight. And that's the part that's really, really very, very cool because they can get where they need to go very quickly, very efficiently, it's like you can expect a response when you use an es essential oil mm -hmm. because of these tiny, tiny, tiny little molecules. They, they work um, and they're um, fast and they you know, very efficiently spread through the body where they need to go. And the third thing is they provide cell signaling. So they actually interact with your cells and your cell receptors. And so that also means, though, that it can interact with whole body systems, you know. It's not just if you're going to take, say, lavender oil, that you're going to be, you know, only using it for, let's say, the nervous system. It's going to work on so many more body systems, the skin and, you know, the integumentary system, the skin, the uh, nervous system, the digestive system. It's, it's going to work, the immune system is going to work very, very holistically because of that cell signaling that it does. And um, so, yes, it's found everywhere. It works with the body chemistry. So suddenly we've got something that not just works on a physical level either, it works on the emotional chemistry, mm -hmm. the emotional, you know. You know I love that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's there's so emotion. Yeah, there are so many benefits. It just works on mm -hmm. on on so many different levels, and yeah. so right. yeah, that emotional level um, within the body, what it's doing within the body, and even like I find just the act of simply reaching for the oil as well, it's all it's almost giving a response that you're doing something you know beautiful and nurturing for yourself, yeah. and, and that contributes. Everything contributes. Um, but yeah, I'd love to talk about the emotional um, the wow. emotional effects. Yeah, absolutely. I love the oils for the emotional effects. And and again, you know, I sort of come back to that holistic um, uh, effect of the essential oils is because they just go everywhere mm. and because um, even if you don't want to use, if you don't even know what you're using an essential oil for, <laughs> just use it because it's going <laughs> to do something for you. <laughs> nice. There's so many, you know, chemicals and, and chemical aromatics uh, compounds in it that uh, it's going to have an effect anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, emotions. So, you know, um, there's so many studies out there on on uh, the the emotions, the amygdala, the limbic system, and and how you know how the essential oils can affect our, our limbic system. So, we know through those studies, that smell mm. is a powerful, powerful signal to the brain and specifically through the neocortex and then into this cluster of, um, uh, they're not organs, but it's like, you know, areas in the, the brain called the limbic system. 
And so the limbic system is um, there to help us process um, not just smell but memory mm. and emotions. Mm. And the amygdala area of the brain is there to, and it's the, you know a lot of science behind that as well, is that we know that the amygdala is there to um, process and work through uh, emotional trauma. Mm. So, again, there's science into that. I won't quote the scientific papers or anything like that here, but it's it's available. You know, there's, there's enough science on all of that. Um, so in terms of smell and the aromatics of the essential oils, suddenly we have a pathway through the olfactory system, the nose and, you know, smelling through the olfactory system. You've got a pathway directly to your central nervous system. Oh wow! It's the that only pathway. It's open. It's, yeah, open wow. door. That and, is amazing. And that is. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is so yeah. amazing. <laughs> I am so glad you said that because yeah. I know just in in the work that I've been doing, you know how powerful the nervous system is. Yeah. So much gets held. Yep. In the nervous system of you know tension, old patterns, traumas, all of that. Yes. And to be able to access that with essential oils, I didn't realize like that is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> so no, can you think of can you just think about, you know, sometimes what happens is I've actually spoken to a client just earlier today and she explained to me uh, she, that her husband actually had, um, and I, I don't mind saying this because mm-hmm. she, uh, the husband had a negative effect to like a, a didn't when I opened a certain essential oil that we use for the digestive support and so and, and just calming the digestive system down. It's yeah. an oil blend. He opened it and he, he smelled it and he, he felt really nauseous. This fella, the the my client is her husband. It reminded him the memory that came up for him smelling this oil because it's so powerful. Wow. The memory was of a time in his life where he was a young man, we consumed a lot of Sambuca. <laughs> 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 and so the body remembered that just with the smell of an essential oil, which is so powerful, boom, straight into that memory, the limbic system, straight into the central nervous system, and the body responded with a Sambuca response. Wow, and he actually felt quite nauseous because he smelled something. Now the oils do, you know, they trigger a memory for you, mm-hmm. but they also that, and then uh, that memory is something that perhaps is stuck somewhere in a body, you know, in our body somewhere. It could be a memory of pain, mm-hmm. of a trauma that's happened, a physical trauma. It could be an emotional trauma. It doesn't have to be sambuca, <laughs> but you know, that explains the whole, um, how the process works. And the body then, um, because of that memory, it can be a wonderful, a good memory. It can be something that takes you back to a, a happy place. Mm-hmm. So think for a moment, if you are sitting with an emotion of sadness, for example, and you open a little bottle of essential oil, and I'm just going to say, let's use a, a, a citrus oil maybe, just as an example um let's say we open up beautiful wild orange and we sniff now we're feeling sad we sniff the wild orange oil and we have this beautiful little memory of um an orange eating peeling an orange with grandma or whoever it was and it brings a smile to our face immediately the emotional response that you have is going to create a new kind of chemistry through your brain, new neurotransmitters, new information to your body, and it's a, a, a new um, a, a new emotion that you will start to feel. Mm. So the the oils themselves work through changing the chemistry, changing your body's own chemistry. And you can anchor that in. So if you're sad, next time you're sad, put a smile on your face, open up that beautiful bottle of wild orange essential oil, give it a sniff, and there's your new memory. It's a new memory. It's a memory of 
you know, less sadness, maybe a little smile on your face. Um, so, yeah, I, I just love the effect that the essential oils have, and, and it's quick. Um, we have um, amazing results with that in, in the clinical space as well. And, again, there's so much research on this. Mm. There's so much research. There's a, um, if you'll allow me, there's a, um, an, it's an integrative oncology center, and the name has suddenly just, um, I'm not, can't remember, I can get that to you, but there's an integrative oncology center with a psychologist at the head of it as well. And she's done some research in the States on the aromatic uh, emotional um, oils that in this, in, in our company. And so what she's found is, and we'll cut this really, really short and just give the outcome of it, but what she's found is in uh, for the staff that work there, because it's a highly stressed environment, they have found statistical, um, you know, the results, what do they call it, statistically relevant or something like that. It's, it's very, very good results that they got. For all of these, these essential oils, they have found that they not only improve the positive emotions and the positive feelings of the staff, but they had significant improvement in any of their negative, let's call them the negative emotions, things like overwhelm and, and stress and, and, you know, the, the worry at, or about their clients and their patients. It had tremendous uh, effect just diffusing essential oils and using that aroma to, to, to help change emotional chemistry in the body. Very, was very interesting the, um, stuff these days. Was this the, the study, was it in a hospital, like an emergency ward? or This one was done in an oncology, integrative oncology centre. Okay. Uh, and, they, and she used, specifically used the emotional, the six emotional aromatherapy blends. And it was done over a 10-month period. Yeah. Um, and so the staff that it was done, you know, happy staff, happy patients. Yeah. That's wow. a that's a fact. So they did that study, and and so what, there was one specific blend that actually came up with the most incredible results. It was a blend that's called Forgive, but it uh, it was just yeah <laughs> the, the results were quite phenomenal. Wow. Um, but all of them showed. A statistical significant that was the word I was looking for results yeah mm. yeah that's amazing isn't it and like you could use this with um children as well just as a support structure and system for them as they're growing up especially when they're younger I've yeah. heard that they use it in like childcare centers and are having great results yes. with that yes Lucky teachers, we now have <laughs> we have essential oils that's so easy. Pop some essential oils in a diffuser. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we've got quite a few of our members are, are using this in child care centers and uh, and in some some schools as well, they're using it. Uh, wow. If people are coming on board, they're coming on board because they understand that this is not woohoo science number yeah. one. It's yeah, it, it's real, it's chemistry it's for everyone from young to old um, everyone benefits so you know think of a child care center everyone picks up colds and flus and runny noses and you know yes and it's you you've always got the kids have always got something going on at child care centers diffusing an essential oil or a blend to specifically, you know, during the day or washing hands with a little bit of essential oil in a, um, in a, in a wash, a hand wash, uh, amazing results. Mm. You know, you're just setting these kitties up for and for whole families for better, mm. for better health through through the winter months and well, in childcare centres, it's right throughout. <laughs> just healthier, happier. Mm. Wow. 
I um I want to ask a lot of questions around you know what oils to use um in specific areas but I first like to talk about the quality of the oils and you know and about DoTerra um specifically mm. and it was really interesting because last week I was chatting you know with a lot of people that I was meeting or the team here and we were talking about essential oils because I'm doing this interview and it was so interesting just how <laughs> like everyone knows the name DoTerra yeah. And it's like people are either using them, people have recently just joined or they've heard about them and are thinking about using them. Like it's really amazing that this brand is becoming so well known. But what I love about them is the integrity of the quality of the product. But not only that is that, you know, the contribution that they're giving back to the world and, and the charity work. And I know you've also been, you know, you've volunteered and helped, um, the company and I just I'd, I'd love for you to share about that side of the company uh, and what they're doing. Yes Taylor that's the part that really gives me goosebumps because um, I'm gonna so I'll talk a little bit about the company and the purity and then also just you know the, the whole integrity and, and, and how these oils came about. So if we go back to um, really ancient times and then bring it forward this way um, at some point, uh, the perfume industry came in, and that was around right about, I think, the 1800s in France. And and even today, with the perfume industry using plants, what they do is they want to get as much as possible yield mm-hmm. out of uh, you know out of what they are harvesting for essential oils, the plants that they're harvesting. So in their process to get the oils out. They sometimes, and I believe this this happens um, quite often, is that they will only look at getting the aroma out. So you're not going to get the therapeutic compounds out. Okay. Yep. So if you say, for example, just go and pick up something that says lavender oil on it, and you open it and s- smell it, and you pay two two to five dollars for your lavender oil, the the chances are that you're not getting anything therapeutic. They've got solvents in there to for the extraction process, all of that. Mm. So it's really important to distinguish between a an oil that is sort of fla- you know it's it's got the flavour but it hasn't got the therapeutic quality. Yeah. And then we've got DoTerra, and DoTerra has made it their purpose to to look after number one the the, the people and secondly the the plants and the planet so what you're going to get with doTERRA is a hundred percent pure essential oil intact so they haven't used solvents to remove certain things and have a higher yield in the extraction process oh no 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 what they you know what they pride themselves on is the fact that you are going to get an essential oil that's that's as pure as it's purer than anything you will find. It is just the purest 100% essential oil that you're going to get. Um, and the second thing, so they've got specific processes in place to make sure and the testing and, you know, they, they do a lot of science and research um, to make sure that this is what you're going to get in a bottle. Mm. Um, you're not going to get anything not you know not a hundred percent and then the second thing about that is the company themselves as i said to you they just they really do look after the people and they look after the planet so when they are harvesting or the the places in this world where they get their essential oils from this is where the oils naturally grow and i'm going to give an example so they get tea tree oil from australia because it grows best in Australia and naturally here. And so it's going to have the best quality. And it's going to be really, you know, an amazing product. So this is this is what they do across the world. Um, and so the oil itself is going to have a high level of its um, uh, chemistry and its compounds and the profile of the chemistry is going to be just amazing. And then they look after the, the people. So, so um, um, yeah, let me talk about people. So they basically, in some areas, they've taken over 
the doTERRA has taken over the the um, the the industry there um, in terms of they paying people ten times more than what they used to get paid maybe through their other um, involvement with other companies or you know. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. So the terrorists gone in there and they've said these people are not being treated fairly. This is what's happening with frankincense, which is, you know, a thousand-year-old trade. And frankincense is an interesting one because um, frankincense is also the trees are old, very old. And for people to actually make some money out of it, some of them have cut those trees to get the resin out too too much and then the trees are damaged and the trees can die so what doTERRA does is that they're so amazing they they're actually paying for scientists to go in and take a look at how they can do this work sustainably with the people of Somalia and you know and keep their trade alive and they pay them 10 times more and they've built facilities for them and schools um, to help the people, but also to have sustainable practices and to make sure that, you know, they can carry on with their industry for years and years and years to come. So I'm very, I get goosebumps when I think about exactly what this company is about. It's not so much about the bottom line than what it is about the the people, the planet, and and, and the plants. Mm. Um, I love that. Mm. I love that because um, it is about sustainability moving forward and supporting companies that have, they are really a heart-based business, you know, and they really have uh, much more consciousness in their choices. They're really looking at that bigger global picture, and I think that is incredibly um, powerful moving forward and I think it's really important that um, you know that if you feel so you know to really support those businesses I think that's how we're going to absolutely to grow beautifully yeah 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 I love that and I know that every little bottle of essential oil I'm buying if I'm buying a vetiver uh, essential oil from doTERRA I know that the people of Haiti and um, they you know that money's going into their pocket. Mm. I know that for a fact. I know that you know if I buy my my um, my frankincense, which I love, <laughs> um, that people are going to benefit from that on the ground. Mm. Our know, whole communities are benefiting from this, and yeah, it's 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 really nice to know. It's very heartwarming, and and uh, yeah, we love that. We love we love our DoTerra people. <laughs> We love what they bring to the world. Mm. Mm. I'd love to now talk about like the different um, benefits. And um, so, for example, if you're feeling, if you're not sleeping so well or you want to relax, you know, what are some oils that people can do um, just to really bring back more balance, um, a nice calmer state of being? (laughs) (laughs) Calmer state of being, I love that. Um, yes, so there's actually a whole lot of essential oils that can support you on that sort of that nervous system mm. um, and also holistically and, and, and you know, what sleep and, and, and rest is one of the bases of, um, of, good, of good health. So, um, and the body can physically heal when we sleep well as well. So some of the oils would be, uh, I will just pick up lavender number one. Uh, Lavender is just the most gorgeous thing because it contains a compound called linalool and it's very soothing and calming and not just on the nervous system and for sleep but on uh, for the whole system, for every system in the body. It's very soothing, very, very, very calming. And um, so that would be one. Um, but there's so many frankincense in itself is very soothing calming and again it's because of you you have to look at the chemistry of the different essential oils if they contain certain compounds those compounds have been shown in you know traditionally clinically and in studies 
to promote a, a calming effect on the nervous system. Sandalwood's beautiful as well. Between frankincense and lavender, you can get so much done. Um, frankincense is like a little turbo boost for for other essential oils as well. So if oh, you wow. just maybe use it topically. If you yeah. use frankincense first and it, you know, into the system, and then you follow that with whatever essential oil you want to use for whatever reason, let's say it's lavender, and you yeah. just rub a little lavender on, it means that that lavender goes with the frankincense and frankincense takes things through the membranes really quickly um so it absorbs really quickly and also um through the blood brain barrier that's mm. a tongue twister um, <laughs> can you use um, it on underneath the feet as well i've heard that that's a good yeah. way to for it to get into yes. the system yes very very good way because the the feet have got very big pores underneath of them so the oils draw into the um, the bloodstream really quickly. Mm. It's also a really good way if you think about um, preventative health yeah. and also thinking about, you know, you can just put a little bit of oil on the bottom of your feet um, on a daily basis or every night, just a little bit of something. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot because less is more with these essential oils. You know, one drop goes a long way. Um, oh, you were talking before <laughs> about the benefits of, of essential oils in the beginning of the, the conversation. <laughs> all I was thinking was, oh, I just want to put it all over me, like all day long, <laughs> because there's so many benefits. But yeah, you know, just just a little bit and just you know, using it when you feel to. And um, but yeah. when you said to put a drop on your on your foot for the beginning of the day. So what's what are some oils then that are more energizing to kick off your day uh, with? Oh, beautiful. So I my personal favorite is actually there's a, a doTERRA blend called Balance. Yeah. And um, so I always forget what is in what what's in the blends, but the blend of Balance um, is something that um, I think is has it got. Well, you see, I'm going to start lying to you now, Estee, <laughs> if I tell you exactly what's in Balance. But it's got uplifting oils in it. So let's just think about some of the more uplifting oils that you could possibly use as well in single oils. But your citrus oils. Mm. Citrus oils are very, very uplifting. And it's uplifting for the mood. It's, um, yeah, it's really beautiful. Peppermint, anything with peppermint in it is, you know, you can just think of a drop of peppermint, just breathe it in and, your whole body just feels like it opens up and it's ready for the day. It's kind of an exciting sort of uh, essential oil to use. Um, I love citrus oils for that. So things like Maychang Litsia, it's, it's um, scientific name is Maychang, but Litsia is beautiful. It's a citrus oil, you know, you've got, or it's a citrusy smell. Um, and then lemon, uh, lime, and um, wild orange, it's like little joy bubbles. <laughs> you smell it and you just feel alive. <laughs> so really, really gorgeous, yeah. yeah. I like to diffuse that at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. You know, we normally when people reach for the cup of coffee. Yeah. I don't reach for my coffee. I reach for my essential oil blend. <laughs> and I lift love me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Actually, in every um, office space here, we have diffusers. So, you know, down with the nice. team, they've got a diffuser down there and, and, you know, they'll use different mixes throughout the day and I've got one, Brendan's got one, you know, our general manager has one. And so what are then some really good ones for, um, you know, for switching on the brain and sort of being on fire, good communication in a business environment? What, what are some great ones? Oh, ah, beautiful. Well, I, I almost want to say those ones that I have mentioned to you are probably yeah. a go-to go ones because when you've got your citrus oils, it creates a, a calm, focused kind of feeling. So those mm. are really good for, um, you know, for focus. The, co the company makes a blend that is called the Focus Blend as well. Mm -hmm. And so for in an office environment, that would be a lovely one. You can also roll it on. You don't have to um, just put it in a diffuser. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what's really, really good is this book. <laughs> so when, you've, when you ask 
questions like that as well. It's for uh, when we you know in the, in the industry, I guess because we're not um, because we're not aromatherapists who've gone and yeah. studied this in depth or whatever. It's always nice to have a little reference. Yeah. Um, so that's a, a wonderful thing to have as a little reference um, yeah. as to what the oils can do. Yeah. But for me, those those specific questions, I really like. Um, for focus, I really like something that helps me with breathing as well. Mm. So something like that easy air mix or the, the furs, white fur and Douglas fur, and um, they've got a really, even eucalyptus to me, rosemary. Mm. Rosemary is a fantastic oil for uh, getting the, the brain juices flowing and just opening up the airways as well. And, and also for memory. So I think it's written, and in a learning environment, that's really, really good to use as well. I guess you could mix them as well. It might be nice. Like you said, the frankincense really helps. Um, but then get creative with it and just play and, and make it interesting and, and spice it up a bit. <laughs> Absolutely. I love playing with these essential oils. And so even today for me in my home, I decided... I pick my oils intuitively as well this day. Yeah. So I would just, my hands will go, okay, I'm picking, of all things, clary sage today. Yeah. And I thought, oh, what goes with clary sage? Because clary sage is a little bit about clarity. And so what went with that? And I picked litsia to go with it and white fur. Mm. So with these three oils and you know what? I had no idea what they were going to smell like together, mm. but I put one drop of each in the diffuser and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I feel quite uplifted with it as well. I love that you mentioned um, make it a, an intuitive process because I believe that we, you know, if we can tap into that, then we are really um, helping ourselves um, in the best way possible with our alignment for that day. You know, th there is so much, um, really, there is so much wisdom in our body. And when we can tap into that and, and function and work more that way, um, I think it's a beautiful way of living. And, and there's a real trust in that. And um, yeah, it's just to build that, there's, there's a really gorgeous relationship that you are building with yourself. And um, yeah, so I love that you mentioned intuitively, oh. because I just like, I think that is really, really important. And like, especially for women, I think that's a really powerful um, thing to do. Yes. Mm. Absolutely, I love that. You know, when you um, and yeah, as you were saying, you know, it's 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 quite empowering when um I come across people who say, for example, come into my clinic and they they often say the word, "Well, I can't do that." Well, I can't. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Immediately, I'm I'm thinking, "Oh, there's an oil for you," <laughs> and I have them pick. I then have them pick an, an oil just simply, you know, and you can just hear the mind going, oh, but what if I'm wrong? What if I, yeah. what, you know, I, and I just calm down, take a deep breath, pick an oil. Don't think about it. Just pick an oil. And you know what? 99% of the time they pick an oil that is so appropriate for yeah. them yeah. in that moment. And just in that moment, they've empowered themselves. Mm. They've connected yeah. to their own truth and what their body's after. They've listened. And that's a really empower empowering thing in itself is, you know, what you can't really go wrong when you do that. You, you just have to follow, you know, mm. put your hand on your heart, pick something, and, and you'll be right. Mm. But that's the bottom line. And as Dr. Hill, who runs the... You know, he runs the research and development. He's the chief medical officer of doTERRA. He says, just use an oil. <laughs> and that's matter <laughs> which one. <laughs> oh, pick one you like. Just yeah. use it. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a muscle, isn't it? Yeah, intuition is a muscle. And I, the more we can begin to use it and have opportunities to use it, I think the more we can, you know, it, it's a tool. It's another way to get more connected to ourselves. And, and I think that's a beautiful yes. thing, you know, to do. That is. And it's a beautiful vehicle to use the essential oils. You've got, you know, so many to choose from and to use that as a vehicle to, to practice that muscle 
mm. and just trust in the process. Mm. Trust in the process. That's so good. I love that, Esther. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're we're talking about, you know, the I guess um the more feminine side of things. Like I essential oils are just such a beautiful nurturing um, thing as a woman, I believe, and especially switching out and away from perfumes, which are toxic and, you know, to essential oils and really having that as a beautiful practice that we can have in our lives. Because I know that when I, when I really want to feel, you know, when I really want to connect to my heart or when I really want to feel feminine, like my, my go-to is Jasmine. I just love Jasmine. It's a, for me, that really mm. represents, you know, a beautiful feminine, you know, quality. And so what other oils mm. are there that are, that are quite feminine or just nurturing on that level, um, you know, to make us, you know, just feel better or, um, or even as a as a fragrant, as a as a alternative to perfumes, what are some out there that you can just put on um, that you know are quite feminine and you can wear throughout the day? Oh well, now <laughs> there are so many. But starting with the floral oils, yeah. So the, the jasmine is just a beautiful, beautiful heart opening oil. So is rose oil. Mm. Um, we have neroli, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And you know, they also not just they, they work on the the um, the receptors like dopamine. Not not all of them at the same one, but dopamine and and serotonin, and and they really help to just to balance out. So the, your floral oils are definitely um, you know lang mm. Have you, have you yeah. smelled that terrace lang lang? Uh, I haven't smelt theirs, I don't think. We should change that for you. It's just <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> um, and patchouli, you know, these are actually used in the, um, patchouli is a powerful essential oil. They're used in the perfume industry. So uh, when you're looking at something for you to use as a pure fume, mm. it might be, that you want to use a little base note like that and add another floral or then add something a little bit more grassy or a little bit more herbaceous to that, um, really beautiful. Um, the, and, and blending is not that much of a, an art, especially if you, if you just do a little bit of research. Actually, this book that I held up has got a little bit of information as well on how, you know, the resources that you'll find mm. when you start looking at the essential oils and want to play a bit. Um, they should have something in there that will help you with blending and getting the right number of oils, you know, drops, mm. uh, ratios, get that right. Um, so, yeah, just that, that beautiful, the, uh, the feminine side of, of the essential oils to me comes through the florals, but not everyone enjoy the florals yeah. at all. So, you know, sandalwood is a beautiful oil. And, again, sandalwood, Frankincense, they to me are very spiritual oils. Yeah. Rose, the queen, the queen of oils, very heart, very much a heart oil. And um, yeah, I, I think that they're, they're beautiful. There's a, a blend called Whisper. Mm. Uh, and it's got a few of these beautiful essential oils in them. Mm. But uh, coming back to the, you know, we, we, we're not just about the intuitive, the feminine, the nurturing. Part of all of that is also looking after our, our body physically and the this, this skin care and that, you know, yeah. the, 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 there's skin care. You can use the oils in, in skin care or um, I make up my own skin care with, with the, the essential oils and I love it because I dress myself in the morning Head to toe, Estee, head to toe. <laughs> I've got essential oils everywhere. Wow. <laughs> and I, I do that morning and night. So it's in my shampoo. It's in my yeah. my, my face product. It's in my body products. Yeah. Um, and, again, just a couple of drops, you know, is all you need. Dress wow. yourself. Love yourself up, you know. Rub yeah. those thighs. <laughs> With a lot of love, and say I bring, you know, I bring love oh, to this area of myself when yeah. I'm when I'm using these essential oils. Um, oh, that's gorgeous! Ritual. That is so gorgeous. It is, ritual. and I think it's, 
I think to to create a, a ritual for ourselves, you know, instead of getting up and, you know, getting breakfast for the kids and rushing and doing this, like we really need to come back to just taking a moment to really look after ourselves, mm-hmm. nurture ourselves, mm-hmm. you know, and even, you know, just by making ourselves, you know, putting the smell on and it smells beautiful, on another level it's actually doing so much goodness for us. Oh, so yeah. it's just, yeah, it's such a great practice to... I agree. To me, ritual in putting ourselves first as mamas and, and women, yeah. um, it's just the most important part of the day mm. is when you set yourself in your day up with that wonderful intention of number one, I am number one, I take care of me, then I'm good for my family and I'm good for the rest of the day. I'm, I'm good mm. because I'm, I'm taking care of me. And by using a ritual like that whether it be you know like what I do is from head to toe but it could be something much smaller but something that has that intention behind it um to set up your day and choose your attitude for the day you know just choose I love that. And I've actually been reading about the power of intention and there's a lot of science actually now backing it up and how powerful yeah. that actually is. Yeah. So to have that yeah. ritual where, you know, you are just putting those oils on yourself, but it's that moment to then set intentions for the day as well. Like that is such yes. a great practice to have. And you can, you know, the, you can you can use these essential oils with so much intention because what they'll do is we've already established that they're working on a, a chemical level in your in your system and through your brain and, and through that whole nervous system. They work on a chemical level. So if you set a powerful intention and you use an essential oil to go with that intention. Um, you can really anchor that in. Now, if you do that same thing tomorrow yeah. and you do it again the day after, guess what? Suddenly the chemistry and the chemistry starts to change. Mm. And if your intention is, hey, I you know, I honour myself first mm-hmm. in everything I do, you know, if that's a value for you is that self-honouring and you use an essential oil to anchor that in with on a daily basis with that intention, how powerful is that? Yeah, that's huge. That is so huge because I don't believe we do enough of it. <laughs> you know, it's very easy to get caught up in life and um, and carried away with it. And, yeah, so. That's right. Uh, Suddenly you drop back into your heart space and you put yourself first. Yeah. And, um, and that's what we are meant to do. We are so meant to put ourselves um, in a in a strong state of being, so that we can overflow that, not give from empty space, mm. and not having to come always fill up, fill up, fill up, but to be full and fulfilled, and then fill that over. And I, I believe that the essential oils I know for me in my life, and for my clients, for my family, my friends, people who are using the oils. Yeah, that is something that's happening, and they're really blossoming because yeah. of of those rituals and, 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 you know, putting themselves first, using the oils. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I could talk about that for hours. <laughs> I know. I love it. That's lovely. <laughs> um, well, there's a few more questions. Um, I know that um, essential oils, like if I'm looking at it from, say, you have a, a hotel or a big, you know, a place where a lot of people come and visit, what are some oils that... Um, most of the time everyone likes so um because sometimes it, they can be off-putting um depending because we've all got different you know sense of smell what are the ones i know that wild orange is just one of those you know possibly one of those really yeah. beautiful ones that people just oh you yeah. just you know it's so inviting and to to provide a space for example a hotel so if you're walking into a hotel and you just yeah. smell something absolutely beautiful like so much happens in your chemistry, you know, they bring back beautiful memories or whatever it is. Like what are some of those oils and, and what is that response? Like what happens in the body when you, when, you, when you do walk into a room and it just, you know, you just, it just feels beautiful and you're just picking up on the, you know, the senses? Oh, well, absolutely. I mean, I, I just about live in hotel rooms because I, I do a lot of travelling as well to, yeah. to share about these oils. 
And one of the most off-putting things for me is when there's a chemical smell. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. But yes, it's a, you know, and so for me, I, I think what happens when I smell something really beautiful is I immediately feel at home, number one. Yeah. Number two, if it's a nice, it feels clean, it feels mm. very uplifting, it feels vibrant, it feels alive. The, the you know your body's so intelligent it's going to pick up if you walk through a forest mm. you can think about walking through a pine forest and you're smelling you know those pine needles and the pine which is actually the chemical that gives you that those um smells um you kind of feel freshness don't you and it's and your whole body responds to that in a way that um it, it's it's uplifted it feels um, it feels more alive. Yeah. So, so when you're walking into a hotel room, wouldn't it be lovely to create that sort of um, same experience for the body and uplifted? It's almost like your whole body vibrates with uh, expectation that this is going to be a wonderful experience yeah. for you. Yeah. So some of those oils, I would say, think about what we find in in forests. You know the um, the, the the conifers, the firs, the, the Douglas fir. That it's a very clean, beautiful, cleansing kind of aroma. Um, I don't know anyone who said they haven't liked the smell of a pine forest yet. So maybe that could be something that that's useful for the masses. Um, you mentioned wild orange. Think about walking through an an orange orchard. You know, just. Yeah. Um, yeah. And peeling that orange or lime or mm. or, or lemon, it's it's a, yeah. a, a very cleansing um, aroma. Uh, I don't like anything, I think, for me personally, I wouldn't like anything that feels and smells too complicated. Yeah. You know, some have got very deep tones and, and notes, uh, as they call them in aromatherapy. Um but something woody, cedar wood might be nice, but maybe a bit too calming, mm -hmm. uh, which would be really good if you combine that with the citrus again, like the wild orange or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just think it's about finding that essential oil that is going to mimic for you something like walking through a field of flowers or mm -hmm. lavender, even a little bit of lavender or something that mimics the feeling that you want to create you know nice easy breathing openness yeah. but that i would i would go for, for for something like that something out of a fruit or an, an orchid orchard or a, yeah forest <laughs> nice that would feel good mm. uh, i could i could continue asking so many more questions <laughs> about essential oils but i, I talk too much oh no i love it i love it but our time is sort of coming to an end now and i guess up. This is um, this is probably more not so much on an essential oil question, but um, like how for you for daily practices that bring about um, more happiness, you know, to be more healthy, to be more vital, you know, just bring it back to a really um, you know everyday um, practices. What are some of those things that you do in your life that you that you really really notice a difference in in how it impacts your day and how it um it helps stay focused in your alignment of where you want to go and what you want to create what are some of those things so beautiful because alignment is the the word that to me is most important i need my heart and my brain and everything to be in alignment to my values yeah and so in order for me to create that, especially on a busy, you know, my days get really busy um, and I see a lot of people in my day. So I need to remain very much strong yeah. and aligned and have the heart and the head, everything, you know, the gut, the heart and the head, mm. have those brains work together really well. Yeah. So I'll tell you what I do. For me personally, I wake up every morning and I have I do two things. I say thank you. So I have a gratitude practice. Mm -hmm. I also do that at the end of the day and I write down um, what I'm grateful for. And sometimes, you know what, if if my day wasn't the most wonderful of days, which is not often, I might just be grateful for the fact that I have a, a, a warm bed mm -hmm. to, to sleep in, but I will write that down. Um, 
So gratitude practice, my morning also, I bless everyone in my day. Um, so <laughs> everyone I'm going to have contact with, I know or don't know who yet. Um, I will bless them by, by name if, if I can and just ask for them to, to experience, um, you know, when they're in contact with me and everyone else to experience love and, and, and beauty in their day. Um, I will use my essential oils straight up. So I I will pick my oil intuitively. Um, I go outside, I ground myself with my essential oil. But, uh, the balanced blend is a beautiful one for me, but I pick intuitively as well. Mm. And I will do something like the love, grace and gratitude um, on the grass. It takes me five minutes. And um, you know, gratitude to our earth, gratitude, love, grace, and gratitude to the earth, to my heart, to the other people, you know, the wider world. It's just a beautiful practice. It might take me 15, 20 minutes in up, all up to do that, but that's my time. And then, of course, as I said to you before, I will dress myself in essential oils, um, after, you know, after I've I've um, cleaned up and had a shower. It's dressing myself and then the body's nice and warm as well. So I take that in. And uh, Again, that's me time. That's setting me up for my day. Mm. Um, and I, can't, I really can't do without that. Esther, I've got a lot of little rituals that I do. And during the day, you know, I will, I will go around and put all my diffusers on to the house. And, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a ritualistic kind of person so um but i give a lot of thanks and a lot of gratitude and i find that for me anchoring all of that with essential oils is a really good way to to be aligned have the heart the head and of course good food and good nutrition have all of that in alignment to you know to what i want what i want for me and my clients Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful because that that really essentially creates such a gorgeous energy field. So whoever you interact with, you, you're going to be creating on that level. And um, that is just beautiful. So thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you for asking. I think that's, that to me is such an important thing to do. So thanks for asking. I appreciate that. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for today. I've thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. And like I said, I could keep going with this conversation. But yeah, thank you so much for sharing. I really, really appreciate it. You are very welcome, Estee. It was my pleasure. Thank you. For more on essential oils, visit pebbledesign.com forward slash wellness forward slash essential hyphen oils. If you like this conversation, we love your feedback. Leave a review, a question or a quick comment. That way we can invite more guests on the show around well-being topics that you're more curious about to live a happy, healthy, thriving and vital life. Subscribe on iTunes or our website pebbledesign.com to be part of the guest well-being conversation.